to pick a good pumpkin? Well, one way is to make sure the stem stays attached when you pick it up. Now, another way is to make sure that there's no cuts or bruises. Now, that'll help it last longer so it can sit on your porch for a while. But when you're ready to eat it, let me tell you two things that are incredible about pumpkins. Number one, one cup of pumpkin has more than your vitamin A requirement for the day. And remember, vitamin A is good for your eyes, it's good for your skin, it's good for all sorts of things. Plus, pumpkins also are full of something called beta carotene, which, like Mother Nature's color crayons, are super full of antioxidants and amazing for you. Join me in the kitchen, we're gonna make something called chocolate pumpkin muffins. You heard me right, chocolate pumpkin muffins. And just like we talked about with peaches, if you can't find something fresh, you can always find it frozen or in a can. Now, the important thing about pumpkin in a can is that you want the only ingredient to say pumpkin. Like on this can right here, it says ingredient pumpkin. No sugar, no preservatives, nothing. There's lots of different things on the shelf that'll add a bunch of sugar. So make sure it's just pumpkin. Now, today we're gonna make something called pumpkin chocolate chip, well, we're gonna add chocolate chips. And all we're gonna do, it, it calls for one and a half cups of pumpkin. Now this has two in here, so I'm gonna put half of it and a little bit more. And we'll save the other half for our second snack for the day. Okay, there it is. Now, we're gonna add six tablespoons of cocoa, just pure cocoa. Okay, one, Two, three, four, five, and we got it. Ooh, you gotta smell this stuff. It is just pure cocoa, right from a cocoa bean, right? No extra added sugar. Now, to make the muffins rise, we're actually gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda, okay? So I'm gonna put these in, one, too, and it has a cool little leveler there, so you can actually level it off. See that? Dump those in. Now, I've got two eggs. Now, I've kept them warm temperature, kind of a room temperature, right? So I just left them out of the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. And it helps to make them be room temperature. That way they mix in the recipe a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna crack those in. Okay. Then the next thing we're gonna add is two teaspoons vanilla. This is so, it smells so incredible. To add vanilla is just an incredible flavor. And it actually goes really well with things. Now, here's the fun part. Most muffins have flour in them, right? This has no flour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one cup of almond butter, one cup of peanut butter, and a half a cup of pure maple syrup. That's what's gonna make it sweet. So I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. We are ready to fill these up. I added the chocolate chips, I added all the ingredients, and now I'm ready to fill up our muffin cups. You wanna fill them, you know, a little more than halfway. Oh, they're ready to go. Amazingly, this batter is so soft and light at the same time because of that pumpkin mixture. Let's cook it in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. We'll see if they're done. So I let them cook for about 16 minutes. I put them on this cooling rack. It's time to taste. Now, sometimes when muffins don't have flour in them, they're gonna be even more moist and even um, more crumbly and delicious. Oh my gosh, this is so nummy. Um, you honestly cannot even tell that there's pumpkin in here. It is just incredible. I can taste the peanut butter. I can taste the chocolate chips. And then there's this kind of like a softness, kind of like a butteriness from the pumpkin. It's so delicious. Mm. So make sure to get pumpkin in your diet this week. 
join me in the other room for yoga. Mm. All right, boys and girls, I want you to imagine you have something on your head, or if you do have one of these cool stress balls because you've been eating healthy every week, put this on your head. Now, I want you to sit up really, really tall, make your spine really long, and we're gonna do our bubble breathing. Okay, do you remember how we do this? Instead of blowing out, like you're blowing a gum bubble, you're gonna, blow, you're gonna kinda gulp in like this. Nice job, now keep sitting really, really tall even though my stress ball fell off. Here we go. Use those stomach muscles and breathe it all the way out the nose. One more time. Nice job, way to go. So when we can take a breathing exercise, it's a little bit like erasing a chalkboard from all the stuff that was on there, right? All the things that you've learned are still in that amazing brain, but sometimes to wipe that chalkboard clean can help you refocus, right? So if you ever feel like you're overwhelmed or confused about things, imagine you're wiping that chalkboard clean and do that with a breath. You can do it with bubble breath or ladder breath or any of the breathing techniques that we've learned during this year. Okay, so today we're gonna to do the sun salutation and then we're gonna take it into a fun balance pose. So we're gonna stand up, make sure that you have some space around you. Now, you, because you're, you have shoes on and you don't have a mat, that's what I'm gonna to do today too, okay? So you're gonna stand all the way up, inhale the arms up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, look up, exhale, release. Just hang there for five counts. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. One more. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Place your hands down, shoulder width apart, coming to plank pose, and lower down. Inhale up. And exhale back to down dog. Good, big deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Good, focus on that deep breathing and get all that oxygen to those tight muscles. Inhale. Okay, when you're ready, we're gonna place a bend in the knees and we can jump or walk up, okay? Good, slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. Inhale up, and exhale back down. Nice job, now we're gonna start the second sun salutation, but we're gonna do something different. Inhale the arms up, reach super, super tall and exhale, fall forward. Now when you're here, you're gonna take your right hand and place it on your left foot. And then you're gonna take your left hand and lift it all the way up. Now there's a big stretch here. So breathe into that left rib cage, inhale. Okay, switch to the other side. This is called the windmill stretch, inhale. Good, switch to the other side, inhale. Keep reaching those fingertips up. And switching sides. Drop it back down. Okay, here comes the balance pose, you ready? All you're gonna do is lift the heel up on that left foot. Okay, lift it up. Now take this left hand and put it on your hips, okay? Once it's on your hips, you're gonna take that right hand and try to bring it underneath that left foot, okay? 
You got this? I'm gonna turn forward so you can kind of see me. All right, once we're here, all you're gonna do is slowly bring the weight of the body into this right leg, and you're gonna try to lift that foot off the ground. Okay, can you see how that looks from the side? You're gonna try to lift it off the ground. Now, even if you just get to the tippy toes, that's great. If you can get the foot all the way off and hold it here, that's great. Remember, it's only about making your body a little stronger every time. Good, big deep breaths. Nice job. Now, if you can do the balance here, you can take that left hand back behind you and breathe. Good, drop it back down and let's take it to the other side. Nice work, so I'll face forward. This time we're just gonna lift the heel on the right side, take the left hand around, reach underneath, put the right hand on the hip to help stabilize and bring the weight of the body into that left foot. Okay, here we go. Can you do it? Again, it's not about competition. Doesn't matter what you can do different than your neighbor. It's just about how you can make your body and your muscles stronger every day. Big deep breaths and keep your eyes in a place that isn't moving. And release, come back down, nice job. So when you're here, let's finish out the sun salutation and then we'll daydream. Place your hands on the mat, drop it all the way back, hold it here for five, inhale. Nice work, put a bend in the arms and come down. Inhale up and exhale back to down dog. Five breaths here, inhale. Nice, when you're ready, slowly walk the feet up. Inhale, bring the arms up. Come up slowly and let that blood return to the head. And exhale back down. Nice job. All right, let's do some daydreaming. Nice work. That was kind of a fun balance pose. The other thing about balancing, balancing can also be kind of like wiping the chalkboard clean. When your mind is so focused on keeping your body in a certain position and really trying to keep your muscles engaged, it's like getting all those thoughts you've been thinking all day and wiping them clean, right? And bringing it back to focusing. So nice job. Okay, when you're ready, sit up really tall. <sighs> Let your hands hang down. Close your eyes. Find a place where you're not touching a neighbor. You're not being interrupted. You can lay down or sit in crisscross applesauce. Now start at the toes and squeeze your toe muscles together. And then release them. And move up to your ankles and into your calf muscles. Think about all those amazing muscles, over 600, that help your body stay healthy and strong. Good. Now move up to your knees, into the quadricep muscles. Make them tight, tight, tight. Even into the hips and the sit bones. And then let them go. Good. Now move up into the hips and into the lower abdomen, right down here. Make those muscles excuse me, really tight, tight, tight. And then release. Now move up to the chest and into the shoulders and make them tight, tight, tight. And release. Now move out to the arms, biceps and triceps. Make your fists. Rotate your hands. And release, nice job. Okay, when you're ready, now take your head to one side. Take your head to the other side. Make your mouth really small. Close your eyes and open it. And release. Now every single muscle can relax. And the only thing left is the sound of the breath. The inhale and the exhale. And for one minute and 20 seconds, see if you can just listen to that breath. 
The cool thing is you're the only one that can hear it. You're the only one that can feel what your breath feels like. You can only, you're the only one that can hear it. You're the only one that knows how that breath operates in your body because it's your very own. So think about that for one more minute. Does it feel warm or cool? Does it sound soft or loud? Is it smooth or rough? And while you're listening to your breath, you can probably feel your heartbeat too. Is it beating fast or slow? Second, see if you can notice it. Has your heartbeat slowed down a little bit? Has the breath gotten a little bit more of a rhythm? Have your muscles stayed relaxed? Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Move your head from side to side. Open your eyes and let's take one final breath. Let's go all the way up to 10. Okay, sit really tall. Give your spine lots of room. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And exhale. Nice job, way to go. Remember to enjoy your fruit or vegetable this week and we'll see you next week on Yoga Me Do.